Hi there! Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if you're new. This week I'll be doing my second week of mermaid illustrations. I did four of them again and I think this might be my last four. I don't really feel like continuing with mermaid just because I feel like I'm getting a little bit burnt out. So for the first prompt fantasy I went with a mermaid holding what originally was going to be like a snow globe with some kind of earth scene on it so like you know to her it's a fantasy but I don't know I just didn't really like how it was going so I just made like a you know a mystical looking seashell with some lights coming out of it and I really like playing with lighting effects and trying to learn how to do those better this one started out I wanted it to look really like dark you know she's under the water the her surroundings are dark except this you know brilliant light coming from this conch shell For the western prompt, I went with a denim strapped cowboy. Revolutionary, I know. But I incorporated a couple of different designs that I thought were cute, like his horseshoe tail fin and his belt buckle and on his hat. And also, he is roping a seahorse. Funny enough, when I was doing some research about western mermaid and other artists takes on it most of them were riding the seahorse or were next to the seahorse in a cute little pose and there weren't any men so i decided i would draw a cowboy roping a seahorse so still incorporating all of those elements that you would naturally think well i would naturally think anyway when i think western um, and when i was looking up different seahorses i came across the zebra seahorse which is the cutest thing ever i absolutely love it and as i was drawing this i mentioned to my husband this kind of looks abusive <laughs> a little bit like the horse like the seahorse looks like it's in a little bit of pain and he's roping it rather aggressively but i wanted to establish that he is not abusing it he is just wrangling it so he can care for it yeah so <laughs> sorry if anyone misinterpreted that for the geek prompt, I had the probably the most fun with this one because, like I mentioned in my post on Instagram, when I first saw the geek prompt, Star Wars immediately came to my head. I was teasing my husband about it because he's a big Star Wars fan. Of course, I don't mean it in a negative way, but I thought, you know, maybe I could draw some type of Star Wars character. But I didn't want to just draw somebody out of the movies and and as this mermaid was coming together I noticed that people might mistake her for you know not not in a bragging sense but just her general design might mistake her for Daisy Ridley you know the character that plays Rey so I established in my Instagram post that she is a mermaid who likes to cosplay as a Jedi and the my husband just came up with the funniest thing and I loved it so much that her fin would cosplay as Finn and that's why there is a Finn mask and the great pixie sticks was the first and only one as of yet to pick up on that so good job I really wanted to mention something about it in my original post but I was like no I'm not gonna say anything I'm gonna see if anyone else picks up on it and they did so good job pixie sticks I actually really do like how all of these turned out in the end but I could feel myself becoming a little bit bored with the process as I move forward and I feel like it might be because I don't really feel or see any improvement and maybe that's silly to assume that just with a few digital pieces in such quick succession of each other that I would see some kind of drastic improvement but I still had a really hard time figuring out shading on things without making it look dirty, especially the skin, and I was having trouble making the features of the faces not look so flat. I was trying to build up the depth so that it would look as realistic, cartoony realistic as possible.
And for the last comfy cozy, I originally had thought out an idea of a mermaid in her bed, which would be like a giant clamshell, and you know, it'd be like an underwater room scene, you know, the trendy aesthetic lights, but underwater, so basically any kind of trendy bedroom, but for a mermaid. But ultimately, I wanted to try something a little bit more simple with less details, because I spent so much time on the geek one, I wanted this one to go by a little bit quicker. I feel like I really like the concept a lot more than I like the execution of this one. The colors are kind of meh for me. Um, I do like the pose, but I feel like my shading could have been stronger and I obviously need more practice drawing animals, but otherwise I think it's cute. What I really wanted to go with with this one initially was the same scene I mentioned before about a mermaid in her clamshell bed and that she would have like a blanket draped over her, but it would actually be the tail end of a blanket octopus because I just learned about these on the Daily Dose of Internet videos, which are amazing by the way. There is this creature called a blanket octopus octopus where its tentacle it literally just looks like a long beautiful flowing blanket it's the most mesmerizing thing I've ever seen octopus hands down my favorite animal but anyway I digress <laughs> There's still several features on Procreate that I just don't know anything about yet, like the mask and alpha mask and all those, most of those other options that you get when you click on the layers. And I'm sure if I did more research on it, I would come to understand it just the same way I've come to understand how to use the layers. Um, but at this point, I'm just getting a little bit burnt out with the digital art. Uh, I really do enjoy the convenience of it, you know, just being able to sit on the couch with my family and whenever I need to do something else, I can just stop and come back and the fact that the Procreate app, you know, screen records while you're doing it is really convenient, you know, as opposed to if I needed to do a traditional piece for a video, I would have to worry about my lighting and my camera and my batteries being charged and my children needing me or something. It's a little bit more inconvenient, but I still do really love that process as well. Well, that's it for this week of Mermaid. I'm so glad that I participated in this. Even though I didn't complete it to the full, I still am proud of myself for doing as much as I did. And I do plan on doing more digital art in the future, but I will get back to traditional art while I can. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. And also, please subscribe to my channel. Turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I will most likely be doing a mix of traditional and digital art. But I would like to hear from you guys which you prefer, which kind of style. And yeah, I hope I see you again next week. Alright, thanks guys. Bye!